Ready. Uh, I thought today was a good day. I thought I liked the uh, the competitiveness at practice. You know, first day of, uh, first day of uh, installation and a few things, and uh, you know we had had some mistakes we're gonna have to clean up. But um, you know, all in all, I thought the guys came out with a good purpose. I thought we got good work, uh, some com some uh, competitive drills, um, you know, offense and defense, and you know, I think the guys are, are really working. So you know, we got some uh, some work in our kickoff uh, coverage unit today. I thought I thought guys responded well, uh, looking at some some new faces, and uh, you you make sure that we have the right uh, uh, the right personnel in the right places, and uh, I think guys are taking taking ownership in, in that job and the, and the opportunity that's in front of us on, on that because we've got to be great in all those phases um, you know, here, uh, you know, here this week. But um, you know, all in all, I thought it was a pretty good day. you got to come back with a, with a great day tomorrow. Coach, has any quarterback improved as much in season for you as, as what you've seen from Jordan this season? Uh, you know, I mean, it's part of the, the you know, a process of every, uh, you know, really every player. And I look back over the years, um, you know, I've had, I've had quarterbacks that, um, you know that they they just embrace that that challenge and that growth and you know it, it shows up in different ways. You know Jordan um, had a lot of con had a lot of confidence. Uh, you know from what I'd seen in the spring. You know the work that he put in the summer. Obviously fall camp, a lot of confidence in what he was going to do. Um, you, know, I, you know there were some challenges there in the early part of the season that that, that he uh, that he faced and um, you know just continued to work. And you know, usually when you have that work ethic, uh, that desire, and then you you get to you know to experience some of the success, you see that that those those rapid steps. Um, you know, so I, I mean, I've seen growth at that position, you know, throughout my career, uh, throughout a season. I think Jordan is, is definitely doing an extraordinary job in what he's doing and how he's building, you know, throughout this year as well. Yeah, I mean, because he's been a great addition to this uh, to this football team. The, the, you know, obviously not only the player that he is, but uh, you know the uh, the person, the teammate. I mean, he's you know, he's constantly pushing himself. I mean, his his job is to be ready when his number's called, and uh, you know the, the urgency of what I'm seeing from him in, in regards to that. Uh, you know that. It's it's inspiring to others, but it also shows a standard of operation. And um, you know, everybody everybody should should work to prepare. Uh, you know, to the to the elite level. And uh, you know, I think he's definitely doing that. And uh, you know, when his number's called, I expect him to be ready. Do you sort of have a standard participation policy in terms of if guys can practice through the week? They need to be able to participate in a certain portion of practice to be able to play on Saturdays, or does that differ based on who they are individually? I mean, we have you know we have our, our things that uh, we are uh, I would say necessary within the program uh, that we need to see. Um, you know, so that's something that we go into each week, and you know the time, the the role, the uh, you know the experience, everything plays a, plays a part of it. He's doing well. He's actually participated uh, you know in more in more drills. You know, expanding that. I think we're getting closer. Um, you know, Sunday night was the most work that he had done. Uh, you came out today, and uh, you know, was continuing to, to get the conditioning aspect of it. You know, he looks good moving. Um, you know, but you know, making sure that uh, the, the stamina to be able to go out there and play at the level that he wants to be able to play, and then the confidence—that's um, you know, something we got to continue to build over these next few weeks. But uh, you know, excited about the you know what I'm seeing. Um, but we still got some more work to do. Thanks. Thanks. I first started with Jordan in terms of the decision making too, which is possibly the decision making to keep it and hand off and things like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, and that's uh, you know, playing playing quarterback in this system. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, a lot of reads, you know, pre-snap, post-snap, um, going through progressions. I mean, I think Jordan sees the field, you know, as good as probably any quarterback that I've had, and it, it is, uh, and it's saying a lot. I mean, he's his his the, the the studying that he does throughout the course of the week, how naturally he's able to to see uh, those pre-snap looks. I mean, he had a couple of great run checks, um, you know, that you know throughout the you know this season that uh, you know I've. I've I've been really just pleased with with how the ownership he takes there, um, you know. And then in the passing game, you know, going through those progressions, uh, you know, when you have a quarterback that is as, as athletic as him and the the threat that he can be with his legs, you know, sometimes those guys want to get out so quick. And you know, really seeing him slow down, you know, slow down and let the game come to him, going through those progressions, and that's just that's going to be huge for his continued development, uh, you know, as as he you know goes through this uh, the rest of this year and his career. I mean, you, you see on film just the uh, the work and the uh, investment that he makes. I mean, he's he is I mean, he, he's a coach on the field. I mean, he is out there. He's directing uh, you know all the guys around him. You know, he sets sets 
it looks like he's setting all, you know, all calls. Um, you know, there's adjustments that are made by formations. I mean, he's he's played a lot of football. I don't. I mean, it's you know, I've been in this league for, for very long, but I mean, I'm, even when I wasn't, I mean, you, you knew who he was. Um, and uh, you know, he's a he's a guy that's a great player. And uh, you know, definitely, I got a lot of respect for him. Uh, you got to be aware of him. That's you know, he's gonna he's gonna blitz. He's gonna. You know, there's times he'll be, you know, he'll be blitzing the eight gap, and then, you know, maybe the next play he's there as a the deep third uh, cover three safety. So I mean, he, the versatility of his game is uh, is very impressive. Um, but uh, you have a lot of respect for him. The atmosphere that you'll play in will be louder, bigger stage than your team's played in thus far. Uh, how do you prepare for that? Well, I mean, it's something that you know we we been working to prepare for those type of those type of uh, environments uh, you know, since I got here and even last year with limited limited stadium uh, capacity um, you know this year just you know any opportunity that we can get to try to make things as measurable miserable to communicate and uh, um, you know, as irritating to, to, to operate as we can we try to do that um, you know, but we, we we're fully aware of the staff that this will be the the first time. You know, I mean, North Carolina had its you know um, what it was, and I mean, there were some times that it was really loud. And but you know, at the end of the day, this is that we, you know, we're expecting um, you know a, a very a, a loud and uh, you know very disruptive atmosphere that we're going to go play in so the things that we can control is is you know our focus make sure that, that we're communicating the best way that we possibly can and you know guys just have to you know, can't get distracted by the outside influence and uh, I think they're doing, they've done a nice job with that throughout practice um, you know I think that's something that uh, you know, will continue to do throughout the week and uh, you know hopefully it won't be too much of a concern as well by the time we get to game day. Probably a good problem to have but it seems like DJ and LT have kind of come along um, but you also that's a that's a it's a great question. It's one that you know, I've been fortunate throughout my you know, career. I've, I've had you know multiple backs that have had uh, that have been able to uh, make that type of impact. And so you, you're able to create and find roles, but also you know you go through the the, the course of a game, and um, you know you want to be able to, to give guys opportunities to be able to you know be fresh, to be able to, to you know play at the uh, uh, the best of their ability, whether it's you know offensively, special teams, wherever they can make an impact. Uh, you know, one of my favorite plays coming back off of the game on Saturday was watching DJ Williams come cover on a punt or a cover on a kickoff. I'm sorry, the last kickoff. I mean, just a remarkable job with speed. You know, you know, showed physicality. Was able to get in on a tackle. Um, you know, and, and that's where yeah, that in that room. I mean, those guys, how they can impact on special teams. Something that we're continuing to explore, even in our return games, uh, trying to provide more opportunities for them to change the game. And uh, you, know, you know, those guys embrace that. And then they also know that whenever they get out there on offense, they got to make it count. And um, you know, but I, I think those guys uh, are really you know coming along. Uh, you know, with LT and, and DJ, and I like the like the growth that I'm seeing. Does it matter for both those guys? Being a little healthier now, or more confident for them to be coming on the way they are. Yeah, no, I mean it's it's you know health health plays a role in it, and uh, you know and then you know confidence with you know DJ both. I mean you know DJ's a newcomer into the program. You know uh, you obviously did have spring, but you could see just his overall understanding. Um, you know you see the same thing with LT. You know now you know had his freshman year where it's very specific in the things we're asking him to do, and now kind of expanding that role. Um, and you know you see him you know. He still has some some young guy moments, but uh, you know just that that confidence is emerging. Where you know if there is a mistake made, that he understands what and why very quickly, and he's able to get a fix. So uh, you know excited about you know his future and what he, what he brings. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.